Let me thank from Maximum PC here at MSI's uh, 2000, CES 2015 uh, suite. I'm here speaking with uh, David. Hello. And uh, David, can you tell us what we're looking at here? What we are looking at here is our new MSI's X99A Gaming 9 AC Key Gaming Motherboard. Now, this gaming motherboard is actually the one that recently won the CES Innovations Award for uh, gaming hardware. Uh, this is an uh, MSI board, actually comes with all the bells and whistles of all of our top of the line uh, gaming motherboards, including being made from you know, military class 4 components, having the Guard Pro uh, protective suites, uh, helping protect from things like EMI distortion, humidity, all, that, all those kind of things. But what makes this board really special is it is actually the world's first motherboard to have a USB 3.1 port, which you can see right over here. Gotcha. Now what we're doing today is we're doing a little uh, demo test to show the actual speed of USB 3.1 on this Gaming 9 ACK motherboard. It's just to show how really fast is it. It's really how, how, how much faster is it than compared from 3.0 to 3.1. Well, what we're doing here is running a crystal test. I have in here a simulator of two SSDs that are simulating large data transfers between each other running through this crystal disk program. Plugged in right now, it is running through the USB 3.0 ports, and we're getting our scores coming in right now. So you see we're getting about 421 uh, megabytes per second on the read side, and about 415 on the write side. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna go ahead and stop this, and we're gonna run the same test again, except this time I'm gonna run the simulation SSDs through the USB 3.1 port. Gotcha. Oh, into the blue 3.1s. So 3.1s are also blue. Yes, they okay. are signified uh, with the blue ports. Okay. It might get a little confusing because 3.0 is also blue, I think. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, and we're off. Just give it a few minutes here. We should see a significant jump from the 400 range to, well, let's see what it gives us. Okay, cool. Yeah, for those that don't know, Crystal Dismark is a um, storage speed uh, benchmarking test. And there we go. We have a first initial score for a read at 691 megabytes per second. Compared to about 420, 420, 415. 415, yeah. 695. Okay. That's for a read there. And currently right now, um, are there 3 there are no 3.1 USB devices out on the market? There are no devices out there right now, but they're coming, rest assured. And so we are just the first ones there to have the, uh, the USB 3.1 port ready, ready to go as soon as those devices come. Gotcha. And I believe the uh, scores are coming in now, the right... And the right size, <laughs> 659 megabytes per second transfer speed. Gotcha. So you see a very significant jump uh, from the USB 3.0 to 3.1. And that is what we're showing here at CES, uh, the new X99A Gaming 9 ACK with USB 3.1. Cool. And uh, do you guys have like a, pr a price or release date for that unit yet? Well, you can expect it's definitely in Q1, but you're looking about uh, the March time frame where you guys see uh, this motherboard uh, hit, the, hit the shelves. Gotcha. Cool. And you guys have a, like a price yet? No, not yet. Gotcha. Yeah, but it will be revealed soon. Cool. And I believe that's not the only uh, USB uh, doodad you guys are showing off. No, here, right? we have two actually world <coughs> first going on here. We have here, as I just showed you, the world's first USB 3.1. We also here, this is the Z97A Gaming 6 motherboard. Again, all bells and whistles that all MSI gaming motherboards come with, but what makes this one different is it has the world's first USB Type-C connector on a board of motherboard. Okay. Now this USB Type-C connector is an interchangeable uh, connector that can be put in either direction. This is the connector here. Either way works. So it's, it's in that regard, it's sort of similar to um, Apple's Lightning. Similar, connector. similar, yeah. As, uh, just for added convenience, and hopefully this will be like the standard in the future will, that you will be seeing. On gotcha. Mini -mini. And then right now, it is sort of backwards compatible if you have that cable, right? You can just plug it. It does. It'll be backwards compatible with USB 3.0, 3.1, et cetera, et cetera. Gotcha, cool. So I guess that sort of helps out, you know, if you're always struggling to figure out which end to put the USB Cable this in. is what you want. Okay. Because I know, you know, that's a very frustrating process at times, especially in the dark. Or if it's, of course, you know, yeah. behind You're the always computer. trying to, which way is it, which way is it. <clears throat> this solves that problem. Cool. And you guys also have, uh, you guys working on uh, tweaking some new video cards? or? Uh, yeah, we have uh, a couple new additions to our video card lineup here this, this year. Well, this year we actually came up with a couple of limited special editions uh, of video cards. First one right here is the golden edition of the GTX 970. 
This beautiful baby right here is actually has completely used copper uh, piping with a heat sink underneath. And comes with the much requested from many, many of our MSI fans, a backplate. Cool. And what is the what is the bike plate help with? Is it cooling and uh... it helps a little bit with uh, heat dissipation, but mostly just for stability. Because a lot of times when you're installing these cars in, in your rigs, sometimes depending on the case you have, you know you might get a little bit of slack or a little lag. This back plate will help out with that. Okay, I, I you know I would think conventionally like it kind of adds to the weight, which kind of makes the car bend more. But you're saying it just it, it does more. add to the weight, but just because this is such a rigid car that it's actually gone into the whole chassis here, it will help with the stability to hold that up. Gotcha. Cool. That's on a 970. Of course, we have our regular 970 and 980 uh, uh, graphics cards here that have been doing very, very well, very, very popular. On that note, on the popularity of our uh, uh, NVIDIA graphics cards, we release this special edition graphics card right here. This is the 100, GTX 970 100 ME. Now, if you notice, this graphics card is actually in the NVIDIA green color, and there's a reason for that, because this graphics card release is to signify the celebration of MSI's 100 millionth GPU sold. So that's what the 100 ME stands for. Well, it's 100 uh, <coughs> millionth edition. Along with the, the beautiful uh, NVIDIA green trim, this also comes with a nice sturdy back plate. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. And people can buy this uh, now, or is it... Uh... Uh, just also, you're looking for about a March release date. But gotcha. it will be a limited edition. Cool. All right. Thank you, Dave. Okay.